Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dokken Metal video. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Extreme Z battle for the Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and the physical Omega Shenron. So pretty cool. Uh, Extreme Z battle, obviously part of well, one of two Extreme Z battles for the part two of the anniversary. And we're gonna take a look at how best to take it on. Now, in terms of the effective category, it is Shadow Dragon Saga units and Super Int type units and Super Strength type units are going to be super helpful. Uh, the first 15 stages are against Omega Shenron and the second 15 stages are against Tech Gogeta. In terms of their Extreme Z Awakenings, they're pretty good. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening uh, gives him defense, which is very good. Uh, gives him attack and defense of 150% uh, high chance of attacks being effective against all types uh, along with an additional attack and defense of 25% up to a max of 50% for 5 turns with each super attack performed. He also has a great chance, 50%, of evading the enemy's super attack and countering with tremendous power. So obviously a vast majority of his EZA is giving him defensive capabilities. He was already pretty potent offensively, but now he has a pretty rad kit to kind of build off of. And very similar with Omega Shenron, uh, also a great unit technically or a decent unit offensively and very much gets a similar treatment. Um, attack and defense of 150% with an additional attack and defense of 10% with each attack performed. He launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. So Mega Shenron can fire off like three super attacks in one turn, which is pretty good. There are some missions. The missions are mainly to do with Extreme Z Awakening, the two units. So obviously if you have them, you're going to want to Extreme Z Awaken them. Now, because Omega Shenron is obviously a lead for the category, I highly suggest that you use him and Extreme Zero Awaken him as you go along and he'll progressively get better and be able to carry you in your team. In terms of team build, uh, what I've done is I've just shown you guys some of the options. In terms of leads, you've got obviously Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and you have Omega Shenron, but you also have a 120% lead in the form of Oceana Shenron. Uh, who's a pretty solid pick if you want to. Uh, she's relatively decent. I'm going to be using her as my lead the whole way through, uh, just to show you guys that it is capable to be done without them. Alternative leads will include ones like the GT Heroes units, uh, and obviously the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta will be a great pick. Uh, you just won't be able to use Shadow Dragons right, in your team. Uh, so we're going to be using this team. Uh, I do highly suggest that you switch out the int vegeta and the int uh, goku for the first 15 stages because obviously you are taking on omega shenron and he is a physical type unit so in terms of your alternative units that you have for here obviously you've got quite a decent selection you've got the lr ss4 goku you've got the lr ss4 vegeta You've got the LR SS4 Goku and Vegeta, uh, all three of which are fantastic units. Um, then you've got pretty solid, uh, if not uh, unspectacular alternative. Well, you've got pretty solid alternative options. You obviously have uh, the Super Saiyan 4 AGL Vegeta. You have the Super Saiyan 4 Strength Goku, uh, all of which are more than acceptable picks. Sorry, Strength Goku is actually not part of the Shadow Dragon Saga. Uh, he's actually from the baby saga. So uh, you have AGL SS4 Vegeta, you've got Tech SS4 Gogeta, Tech Full Power SS4 Goku. You've got the two free to play units that we're currently using, or the three free to play units that we're currently using in the form of uh, Vegeta GT and the Hope Goku, the Spirit Bomb Goku. Spirit Bomb Goku you get from the Omega Shenron uh, Extreme Z area, uh, which obviously means you can grab him if you need to that extreme z awakening is currently open that um extreme z battle is currently open so right now you can seal stun do all that jazz uh obviously i highly suggest switching out the two end units uh good replacements are the strength modup uh pretty solid choice and a very good replacement is the nova shenron the physical one 
uh, he's very, very good. Um, you can also use the Tech Nova Shenron, also more than fine, uh, or you can use you know, pretty much any other solid choice. Obviously, I'm trying to avoid the staple choices like Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, uh, the LRs, etc. So obviously now we're at stage 10, things get a little bit more difficult, he's immune to stunning uh, and defense reduction. He'll also become a little bit harder. Uh, you'll see we've switched out those two end units, they were taking a little bit too much damage. It is possible to win with them, especially if you're running the SS4 Gogeta as your lead, uh, but it is still quite challenging because they are in type and they do tend to take a little bit of intense damage here. So in terms of free-to-play options, you don't have many for Shadow Dragon Saga, you only have three units. You have the Vegeta Ape, the GT, Giant Ape Vegeta. You have the Spirit Bomb Goku from the pre-mentioned Extreme Z Battle. And then you have the uh, Legion of Shadow Dragons Battlefield Currency Unit, which obviously um, can double up as a GT boss's lead. Now, the GT Shadow Dragons unit is very, very good. Uh, and is more than reliable throughout the whole event. So I used them during the Omega Shenron phase, used them during the Gogeta phase, very good unit, very helpful. Uh, the Vegeta and the Goku you can use during the um, and yeah, you can obviously use in future, uh, but I think you know, for the most part it's not really entirely advisable. Um, they take a lot of damage and they can really just end up kind of letting you down, which I don't really think you want um, for the most part, and they can put your run at quite a bit of risk. Uh, so other than that, that's kind of it for your free-to-play options. Generally speaking, it's nothing too bad, but it's not too great. It's not units that I would say, oh, you definitely have to use. So. Uh, beyond that, otherwise, you got enough decent options to kind of make this event pretty chilled. Obviously, at stage 20, you now switch over uh, and you have the um, yeah, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta being your unit at this stage. Um, he is obviously tech type. That means we can now introduce back in those in type units, uh, which we do do. Uh, we do do. We Let's do add back in those units uh, and we make them pretty solid overall. Uh, they are really, really decent uh, and they do help out in the tech phase. You can use them the whole time through on the tech phase. It makes life way easier and it makes things just a lot more relaxed, I want to say. Uh, Gogeta and Omega Shenron. Uh, Gogeta feels a little bit harder than Omega Shenron. He hits a tiny bit harder, but at the same time, um, I think they're very much about equal. It's more the typing that is prevalent than anything else. So that's why I actually found Gogeta to be a lot easier, because you obviously can bring in those two free-to-play int options, and that gives you a little bit more direct type advantage, and you can very much just obviously take on the stage a lot easier. Uh, in terms of the overall, like the overall stage and everything, uh, obviously you can auto battle it and I think the majority of it can be auto battled. Just be very careful of the leads that you, you know, um, be very careful of the leads that you choose um, because you, know, you can be you can take a physical SS4, LR, Goku and Vegeta, but they only lead the GT Heroes category and the Fused Fighters category. They don't lead the Shadow Dragons category, so it's not ideal to take them, especially if you are taking extreme type units. However, the Omega Shenron, the physical one, uh, definitely suggests taking him, especially if you can get one that's easy aid uh, past level 130 because uh, he'll basically soft carry the whole run for you. So uh, very, very good unit to, to take across. Obviously now we finish stage 20, we'll jump across uh, and do the final stage, which is stage 30, and then we'll be able to take it from there. So stage 30, obviously a whole bunch of immunities, only really AGL types seem to not be super effective here. Uh, so in types obviously in the first phase and then AGL types for the second phase. Uh, so those are the only really two typings you need to be worried about. Uh, from my experience, all the other ones do fine. 
uh, the strength units do fine the whole way through. So try and pad your team with a couple strength units and physical units, and you shouldn't really have that many issues. Like I said about leads, um, be very careful which ones you take. I will be taking a lot of SS4s here, right. but just remember that the rest of my team is not receiving that boost. That just shows you, uh, you know, how varied you can kind of go with your team. Um, as long as you have some kind of 100% lead for your team, um, you should be fine. I mean, some of these units are only even running under one. 120% lead, but because of typings, we're fine. Like because Oceana Shinran is in type, because the Shadow Legion dragons are in type, uh, they're more than fine. Just our damage uh, is a tad low, but realistically speaking, um, the team handles it more than fine, and so you you don't have to necessarily run uh, a super powerful lead uh, to get this event done. Um, but that being said, try and follow the principles that we've laid out here in terms of overall team building composition. So yeah, um, obviously we're taking on stage 30. The LRs are going to hard carry this because obviously a lot of our other units are not running on double leads. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it for this Extreme Z battle. Obviously there was a second Extreme Z battle for the Super Saiyan God Goku and Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Uh, both of those units we'll take a look at uh, in a separate video and how best to tackle the Extreme Z battle. Uh, in terms of the overall awakenings, I think both Gogeta and Omega Shenrons were good. Not only did they improve their leader skills, making them 170% across the board, uh, but they also greatly improved their defensive capabilities, whilst giving them enough offensive capabilities to make them pretty good. Uh, obviously their you know, damage reduction uh, of the enemy was always a very very good ability to have in a lot of stages um so it's very difficult to say that that was not um yeah i think raising that any higher would make it very very dangerous uh to the sensibility of stages like uh esbr because running units like these with anything higher than 20 percent damage and or attack and defense reduction would be crazy but Gogeta gaining defense uh, is very, very good. The stacking of his defense for those two turns also helps. Uh, attacks effective against all types means that you can build him full additional, which means he has a lot of you know, capabilities to maintain those stacks. And then, obviously, he still has his 50% super attack evasion and counter. Sorry, 70% uh, super attack evasion and counter, which is very, very good. Um, and obviously means that he's pretty much immune or almost pseudo immune to being hit by um, super attacks. Of course, some stages will disable evasion, uh, but now his ability to stack his defense means he can get pretty high, um, which is really, really good. And on Omega Shenron's side, obviously very much a similar story. Uh, was a unit that had a decent attack ability and you know, he had a chance, a 10% chance of it becoming a super attack. Uh, now, instead, it's a 30% chance of it becoming a super attack. Um, he gains 10% with every attack performed, which is good. Um, so he can very rapidly increase his passive abilities. And he still raises defense on his super attack, which is very good, considering that he has a very high chance to launch up to three super attacks in a turn. So very, very good easy A's all around. And that's it. That's stage 30 done. Obviously, you will receive... Uh, some Kai's as well for completing it, so that's very very good. And you will receive a whole bunch of stones. Remember to obviously claim your stones from the missions as well, uh, because that is something that's going to be very very helpful for you. Uh, and yeah, overall you should be pretty set up to go. Um, obviously it's Gogeta and Omega Shenron, so if you have them great, there is a banner right up right now. Uh, that will allow you to get them. I don't really suggest summoning on it. Uh, they are very good, but not necessary. That's it from me. Bye.